Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We have uh, sold a little bit of stuff, uh, gotten rid of some of the weight, because we are on our way to the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker, where we can do the Dead Money DLC. Now, I've played through New Vegas, but I haven't played through any of the DLCs, as I've said before. So this will be quite an experience for me, and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. Um, but I'm certainly not, you know, going to have any idea of the story, of what's going on, of what to do, so... It might get a little frustrating for people, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Right, so we need to go over there, the drainage gate. And we shall go. Man, the loading just takes forever when you're doing this. Sierra Madre. I have no idea why it's in here. Dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time. Wow. Companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Oh, great. Companions are more vulnerable. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers, level 20 plus. If up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre Grand opening awaits and has been for 200 years. Hmm. Th this uh, concerns me. Companions are more vulnerable. You know what? Um, I will save because I don't like the sound of that. So if it's gonna get, you know, too bad, I don't want to babysit them all the time. I'm going to leave them behind. So let's go. Seek out the radio signal. Whoa, this looks cool. Wow. This looks sort of very cool. Are these textures they're much they seem much nicer than usual? There's a drop box, that's interesting. I'm guessing I have to drop Why is this guy still with me? Thanks for helping me out. I won't forget it. It's, he's still with me. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, oh, crap. You have lost Boone Spotterberg. Oh. Have they returned? Damn, I should have... I should have used that computer first. Damn. I wonder what's with that computer. Fallout New Vegas. Dead money. There we go. Dead money. Oh, that's cool. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. No. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except, the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity it's still out there in the wastes preserved just waiting for someone to crack it open but getting to it that's not the hard part Stay it's letting go oh i thought it was staying alive so who the hell knocked us out with the gas and why is this in a Brotherhood of Steel bunker? Hmm. Well, why did it say that companions are more, more vulnerable? I guess in... I mean, the new companions. How did we get here? Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Okay. What, what are you talking about? It's like that fit boy on your wrist. 
except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Great. Do what I say, and the caller will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. Who the hell are you? There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Crazy old man. Then maybe you better tell me why I'm here. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Okay, I need others to pull off this heist? Who? Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. Yes, yes, boom. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. You're great. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Oh crap, that's the worst of, you know, companion defense or escort quests. Why would you do that? Alright, so I find the other three people with bomb cars. Bring them back here? I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pit boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Wonderful. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. How am I supposed to find them? Who are these people I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no. Although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's caught. Hmm, how am I supposed to find them then? Your piece of rock or trash will help you, I've ensured it. It can latch onto the signal of the callers. Hmm. And tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. Lovely. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Okay, any suggestions? Yes. Caller 8, oh. the FEV reject, the super mutant. He's docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Okay, what's FEV? A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. He gave birth to the docile one. Turned them into a super mutant long ago. Well, we know all about FEV. Wait a second. Where can I find him? Travel west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference in the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from Caller 8, there should be weapons, armor at the police station. Go west, avoid the Villa inhabitants, bring the mutants back. What inhabitants? There are people alive here? Yes. The inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Hmm. Whatever has created them. Bullets, explosions, energy. It can make them inert for a time. Then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Oh, lovely. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. What is the cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland. And deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. 
You know, I feel there should be something else moving on this screen. It's a little dull, but oh well. Will exposure kill me? No, while it will erode your health, it will only bring you to the point of death, no farther. Oh. At that point, the air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die, so be careful where you step. Great. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time. If healthy enough, others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Is there any place safe to rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. What holograms are you talking about? Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence. Except for the security holograms. The ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Security doesn't sound safe to me. How are they different? Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. They're holograms. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter. Destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. What the hell? Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to it. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. The radios and speakers? Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Oh, lovely. Mm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Lovely, thanks. Radios and speakers can set off my collars? So I have to deal with them or I explode? You have got to be kidding! This place is filled with radio mines that can kill me? Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your collar's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close, you can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparking. Hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. So, how do I destroy the radios and speakers then? If I can't punch them or smash them, that doesn't leave me many options. How do I destroy the radios? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. Mm, great. I have other questions. I am short on patience. And you are short on time. Uh, what is this place? Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage, the villa, lies in the shadow. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that is aged poorly. Okay. How did I get here? I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. Brilliant. Uh, why is my vision blurring? 
It is the cloud covering the building. The longer you are outside, the more its toxins seep into your system, through the lungs and the skin. You will eat at you the longer you are outside. So wherever you go, move fast, or you'll soon find yourself too weak to move. Fall asleep, and you will not wake up. Brilliant. Uh, where's my gear? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here weaponless was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. Hmm. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Hmm. What do you need me to do now? Who are you? Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. No, you don't. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the pit boy here. And straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. Yeah, you're not going to take it. I will take it for you, apparently. Uh, what do you need me to do? Gather the three others needed for this job. Return them here. After that, I'll have more instructions for you. Okay. Uh, how are you speaking to me? Confused? Don't be. I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Numbers, equations, circles. All can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms included. Hmm. What's inside the Sierra Madre? That is for me to know. You get that far, you'll see for yourself. Hmm. That was very vague. Who's the woman hologram in the fountain? I do not know. A pre-war icon, perhaps. It is of no consequence, aside from being a servant I can utilize. We haven't even seen her yet. Okay, I think that's all. Yep. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. How I've nice downloaded people. instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, that's cool. Fun life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from Ooh. your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity <laughs> to begin He's still again. here. Join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. Oh yeah, oh crap, we need to get out of here. Because of the uh, whole thing that's... Ooh, what the hell was that? It's eroding our health. Honor glue, crowbar, dead money jumpsuit, brain marker fusion, hollow rifle. Hollow rifle damage, so I'm guessing I can... I don't know. Well, let's take the crowbar then. You know what? Let's take everything because I don't know if, you know. Hmm. Hollow rifle. That's interesting. Huh. Vending machine. This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Huh. I can make dandy boys apples? Hmm. Return. Cigarette carton. I can return them. Oh, it'll give me uh, money for them, apparently. Okay. So who was that? That was some weird drunk guy or something? Outside, know. you may notice your vision will pulse, get dizzy. It's the cloud. Eat your inside slowly. Too much exposure. Death. So let's go in. Uh-oh. So that's the, uh, that's the inhabitant that I don't want to... Crap. 
Look, Private Halford, go back home. You're gonna die here. Jeez, and the, uh... Yeah, the FPS is not really that great here, unfortunately. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Brilliant. Uh-oh. Caution. Sensor module. I'm gonna take everything for now. Well, the paperweight was not uh, needed, I guess. I think it's coming over here, so can we chop him up? Bonus limb damage, that's a huge thing. Yeah, it's coming over here. I can hear it. Well, we're gonna fight it next time. Watch out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.